Okay, so now you're set for the next step of finding out what is this particular mission that God has for you in this world. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm the Catholic Marathon Mom. Uh, welcome back for another edition of Vlogmas. This is for December 5th. We are going to just keep pressing into this. Layer by layer, we're trying to find what it is that each of us can particularly bring to the table. What, the body of Christ, what is your role? What is my role there? And it will change in your station of life. I mean, if you're a, a teen and you don't drive yet and you don't not out in the workplace yet, then your particular role is going to be very different than somebody who's 45 and working in an office with uh, direct reports under them and all the different ball of wax there. And it's even going to be different than my station of life. And I've got teens. I'm a grandma. I'm married. And I uh, work at home uh, taking care of the household and homeschooling. So that's gonna look different in my station of life. Okay, so that being said, one really great place to start is looking at talents. Now, when you're looking at your own talents, that's kind of hard. <laughs> you're like, well, um, I think I'm nice. <laughs> or maybe you take a musical instrument lesson and you've been perfecting that, honing that craft over the years. And so you feel like um, my one of my talents is I play the piano or I play the violin or the guitar or I'm learning the ukulele I'm teaching myself how to play or maybe you like to cook and bake and you're really getting good at it those are lots of things that we initially go to we look at those outward things that we can do that are just awesome or we feel we're really getting good at and so maybe we think those are our talents Sometimes um, that might not look like something that transfers into building up the body of Christ, letting others know who Jesus is, helping them to know how cherished they are, then that there's a way for them to go to heaven. I mean, when we become Christians, we become so full of the Holy Spirit, we just want everyone to know, right? So when we look at those outward things, it might be tough. It might be like, well, how does being a really good cook transfer into uh, being part of the body of Christ that's sharing the great love and mercy of God. And it may very well be the way God wants you to work in his vineyard. Uh, maybe it's to feed your family and to take good care and that extra food you're going to share. Or maybe it's to make your home a tent of gathering and that uh, simple meals you're going to share, soup and bread and salad. And uh, yet families or individuals are going to be able to find peace in your presence amongst your family. Maybe you'll pray a family rosary with a spaghetti dinner. I mean, there's a lot of ways, low octane ways that we can share the love of God and high octane ways of uh, praise and worship and prayer that we can share the love of God. As our pastor used to always say, Father size more. <laughs> low octane and high octane, there's all these different ways we can share that love of God. Okay, so if you're having trouble pinpointing what it might be, maybe you feel like, okay, those are things that I work on, but they're things that are like hobbies or whatever. And you're not sure how it translates. So what I want you to do, and this might sound funny, but I want you to reach out to people who know you pretty well. And I want you to ask them, what are your talents? I 100% think you are gonna hear something different than you're thinking. Because I think it's normal to think of, okay, these things that I've given years of practice to, or things that I needed to do, like learn how to take care of my house, or learn how to cook in order to just feed the family kind of thing. There are probably other things that you're not expecting to hear. Last year, some friends and my husband threw a surprise party for me. It was really a surprise. I mean, they got me good. I was not expecting it. And one of the coolest things that I brought home was a little gift. And inside was little messages from each of the friends. It just touched my heart. And I have gone back to that many times. Times where I'm just not sure, like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I thought I knew what God wanted me to do. And I feel like I'm stumbling over my own self. And then other times, I just fall on my face. You know, maybe I'm short with the kids or I don't have a lot of patience and joy and um, encouragement to share when my husband gets home after a long day at work and um, I'm just kind of like, you know, doing the cooking and cleaning and I'm not like, hey babe, welcome home, uh, you know, 
I love you. Come sit with me, you know, and I, ah, that's a fall on the face. Or maybe I'm not reaching out enough to my family and friends and that's falling on my face too. And um, the best place to be to reach out to the Lord is from that spot where when you look up, all you can see is Jesus. <laughs> so I go to that little gift that gave me because what was mentioned in there were things I hadn't thought about myself. Very kind, very sweet, very generous mentions of, um, I guess they'd call it the soft skills that I just don't think about. So I want you to go and ask maybe family members, maybe a couple friends, just give them this question. What are the talents that you think I have? And I'd like to share with you the talents I think you have. Not only are you going to get that information that's going to take you to our next step, in our vlogmas but then you'll have the opportunity to affirm your friend and guys that is a great way to cement a friendship and if you don't know each other super well it could bring a blossoming of that friendship as well okay so there's your homework you're gonna go ask that question and then we're gonna pray into that and dig a little deeper in the next vlogmas okay let's say a quick prayer together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit amen Come Holy Spirit, thank you Father for this time to pray into what our talents might be. Um, please uh, show us Lord uh, the ways that you would particularly like to use each of us, um, that those unique gifts that you've set in our heart, um, in our thoughts, in, in our uh, hopes and dreams, that those would be used to glorify you Jesus. And we thank you for your love. Please bless all of my friends here watching this video, and um, we love you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And I'll see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye now.